If you develop with ASP.NET Core 2.0 or later and you're using temp data, you may run into a 400 error saying your request headers is too long. I've recently encountered uh, this issue while developing my open source blog with ASP.NET Core. It happens when I'm editing a post and I try to preview that post. Instead of seeing the preview of my content, I see better request. The size of the request headers is too long. The fact that this error happens only with this post and the error message itself really does not make sense to me. After reading the Stack Overflow Q&A, the answer is that whenever you see this error, it's because you have too many cookies. So going back to my error, opening up the Chrome developer tool, I see that I do have a list of cookies here associated with temp data. And most of them, the size are pretty large. In fact, they are at the max of the allowed cookie size with Chrome browser. Based on the answer to restore the page, you just delete these cookies. Then if you refresh, your back to, you know, your page is restored. However, that really does not solve my problem. As soon as I hit preview, then I'm back. So digging a little deeper into where I am doing the preview, that is on the compose page, I see that I am using temp data. I'm putting in my blog post to transfer into temp data to transfer that from compose to preview. This reminds me of the fact I read about temp data when I first implemented this feature. That is in the previous versions of SB.NET and uh, prior to SB.NET Core 2.0, Temp data was implemented with session, but starting with two point uh, SP.NET Core 2.0 and later, uh, temp data by default is implemented with a cookie provider. Hence, why I preview a post SP.NET serializes my content via cookies. If you see here, I have five cookies related to temp data. The first one got a 46 bytes, it says chunks four, signaling that there are four chunks. And if you see that uh, these four chunks are actually containing my content and they exceed the max limit of the headers. So the simplest way to fix this is to configure temp data using session provider instead of cookie providers. For scalability reasons, I'm not normally a fan of session. I prefer using cache. Specifically, I distributed cache. But here I can make an exception for just this one feature because once the object stored in temp data is accessed, it is removed from temp data, so it should not affect the performance. Um, on this topic, SP.NET does have two other similar mechanisms that could be used to pass data from controller to view, uh, the view data and the view bag, but those two are used to carry data to the same view, uh, so they would not work in my situation because the preview happens on a different page. So let's see how we may um, fix this, which actually is very simple. Open up the startup.cs. You configure the session provider for temp data. Where you have add MVC, you add session state temp data provider then you add a session. Then in your configure, you add, you use session. That's basically just three lines of code. You're able to fix this.
now if I build and go back to my page let's do a refresh and now if I do the preview it shows the preview and no more temp data cookies here so that's just a tip I thought I want to share with other SP.NET Core developers. Thank you for watching.